this does to you, but it sends chills up my spine, um, because within 24 hours, Martin Luther King was lying on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel, breathing his last breaths. And if you haven't been to the Civil Rights Museum at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, it's very, very much worth uh, going to and seeing right there um, where he did uh, uh, breathe his final breaths. Um, this was obviously prophetic. The next day, James Earl Ray shot him down. Within 15 minutes of finding this out, um, black Americans were gathering on the streets of America's intersections and cities, full of grief, full of anger. In Washington, D.C., one man on 14th Street said, this is it, baby. Shit's going to hit the fan. We ought to burn this place right down. And that's exactly what they did. By the end of the week, there were riots in over 100 cities. 46 were dead, including 12 in Washington, D.C. There were lootings and fires in Washington, D.C. under military occupation. Now think of the symbolism. This was the nation's capital. For those who had dreamed of a new frontier in a great society, this was perhaps the darkest moment of the entire decade. 